This is Bishop George Murray. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant this morning is Father Jim Corda, president of CTNY, the Catholic Television Network of Youngstown. I am Ron Puhala from Holy Family Prayer Parish. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers, Margaret Lehenahan. Let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. A place where saints and children tell how hearts learn to forgive. Built of hopes and dreams and visions, rock of faith and vault of grace. Here the love of Christ shall end divisions. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It's a pleasure to be with you again today as we gather to celebrate God's presence in word and sacrament. So let us together acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us this day with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us join the angels in their hymn of praise. Glory to God in the highest. And, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people of goodwill. Of goodwill. We, we praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, you we give, give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Lord God, God Lamb of God, Son, Son of the, of the Father, Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are, you are seated, seated at the right hand, hand of the Father. Father. Have, Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the terebinth of Mamre, as he sat in the, cent en in the entrance to of his tent while the day was growing hot. Looking up, Abraham saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he ran from the entrance of the tent to greet them, and bowing to the ground, he said, Sir, if I may ask you this favor, please do not go on past your servant. Let some water be brought that you may bathe your feet and then rest yourselves under the tree. Now that you have come, come this close to your servant, let me bring you a little food that you may refresh yourselves, and afterward you may go on your way. The men replied, Very well, do as you have said. Abraham hastened into the tent and told Sarah, Quick, three measures of fine flour, knead it and make rolls. He ran to the herd, picked out a tender choice steer, and gave it to a servant, who quickly prepared it. 
Then Abraham got some curds and milk, as well as the steer that had been prepared, and set these before the three men. And he waited on them under the tree while they ate. They asked Abraham, Where is your wife Sarah? He replied, There in the tent. One of them said, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah will then have a son. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. He He who who does does justice will will live in the presence of the Lord. One who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. He He who who does does justice will will live in the the presence presence of the Lord, who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. He He who who does does justice will will live in the the presence presence of the Lord, who lends not his money as usury and accepts no bribe against the innocent. One who does these things shall never be disturbed. He He who who does does justice justice will live live in the the presence presence of the Lord. Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, now I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am filling up what is lacking in the affliction of Christ on behalf of his body, which is the church, of which I am a minister, in accordance with God's stewardship stewardship given to me to bring to completion for you the word of God, the mystery hidden from ages and from generations past. But now it has been manifested to his holy ones to whom God chose to make known the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. It is Christ in you, the hope for glory. It is he whom we proclaim admonishing everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom, that we may present everyone perfect in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to your Lord. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, their names are Mary and Martha. They were sisters who lived in a village called Bethany with their brother Lazarus. Their home was a place of respite for Jesus. These two women have become more than historical figures. They have become symbols of two different kinds of religion. Martha stands for the people who diligently work at their religion. They visit the sick, They feed the hungry. They give and raise money to benefit the poor. They teach a class at church. They are activists. They work and they work. One task is hardly finished before they are planning the next one. 
Mary, on the other hand, represents the mystics. Their religion is largely a matter of meditation and contemplation. They spend their time in prayer and in study. Their aim is to purify and to strengthen their own souls. A productive day leaves them more able to face the future without fear and to forgive with no trace of bitterness. Now, which approach to religion would you say is more descriptive of yourself? Picture yourself in today's gospel story. Where would you have been? In the kitchen with Martha or at the feet of Jesus with Mary? For some, that will change from time to time, and well it should. A healthy life cannot be all Mary and all Martha. It must be a blend of both of them. Our lives must have both aspects, the active and the appreciative. With one, we get things done. With the other, we see into things and we understand them better. The one is effort, the other is insight. Effort alone tends to break life into separate parts. Insight tends to make life whole and complete. Consider a home, for example. The man works and the woman works. Slowly but surely, activity takes place in appreciation. Now, if either one brings this up, the other becomes defensive. The man might say, I make a good living. Don't I? What else do you want from me? The woman might say, I keep a clean house. I take care of the family. I put meals on the table. What more do you want from me? Separate tasks have crowded out the central meaning in life. Too much Martha and not enough Mary. Too much effort and not enough understanding. Martha, with all her busyness, is not enough because busyness is not the whole of life. St. Teresa once said, to give the Lord a perfect hospitality, it is necessary that Martha and Mary be joined as one. Christianity includes both giving and receiving. Together now, let us profess the faith that we all share. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, maker of heaven, heaven and earth, and earth of, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Humbly now let us present to God our special petitions. For the Church, that we may be attentive to God's voice in whatever form it may be heard, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For leaders around the world, that they may choose to listen to the voices of those without power 
and take them into account when making decisions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. prayer. For an increase in hospitality in our homes and in our hearts, for those who come to us as guests, especially those who have little to offer in return, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. prayer. For those who suffer during the extreme heat of summer, especially the poor and elderly, that they may find refuge from the heat, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For all of us here today, that by participating in the Eucharist, we may bring the Lord's presence to our families, friends, and neighbors, especially those unable to join us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. God in heaven, give us a blend of hospitality, prayer, and service in your name. And one day welcome us to the fullness of your eternal banquet in heaven. We make this prayer in the spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, the sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Paul and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Our Father, who who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but But only only say say the word, and my my soul soul shall be healed. Body of Christ.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you and in his kindness pour out upon you the gifts of his blessings. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to his words that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. Amen. And so, may you always understand what is good and right and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands, made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Joyful, joyful, we adore you, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before you, opening to the sun above. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, Drive the dark of doubt away, giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. All your works with joy surround you, earth and heaven reflect your rays. Stars and angels sing around you, center of unbroken praise. Field and forest, vale and mountain, flowery meadow, flashing sea. Chanting bird and flowing fountain, praising you eternally. Always giving and forgiving, ever blessing, ever blessed. Wellspring of the joy of living, ocean depth of happy rest. Loving Father, Christ our brother, let your light upon us shine. Teach us how to love each other, lift us to the joy divine.